So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am the one and only Chef Lee and as you can see I'm off duty. I just want to start off by saying happy 2024. We have made it. It has come round so so quick. Now I uh, I just want to say a few things before we get started in the video. Now I know I haven't posted on either channel that I have um, this well last month. I, I, you know I, I'm getting confused because it's it's just early part of the year. Um, because as many of you know, or if you don't know, I'm a chef by trade and December is the busiest month of the year. And unlike last year or the year before, when I did Vlogmas, this year there was just no way that was going to happen. It was just too busy. Um, so I was just flat out, flat out, and I just didn't get a chance to do anything. And I actually had an accident at work. I burned my foot really, really badly and I've been laid up. Uh, I haven't been able to pretty much wear shoes for the last week and a half, two weeks. So uh, this is the first time I can actually stand on my feet and actually endure some weight on my feet. Um, I won't show you the pictures because it's actually pretty, pretty nasty. And uh, so yeah, that's why I haven't uh, been posting for a while. I've just been busy and then I had an accident and so just haven't had the chance to. So now I'm feeling better. I'm gonna start the year off, big ideas, big energy uh, and big um, big ambition. Uh, so yeah, today I know we haven't even I haven't even spoke about what I wanted to do today. Today I'm doing a, a kind of extenuation of something that I did around Christmas. Uh, around Christmas, I usually do my roast potatoes either uh, parboil, then roast with the meat that I'm cooking, or parboil and then uh, in the uh, shallow fry. So this year I decided. Well, I thought why not try and use my air fryer? Which if you haven't seen the unboxing video to that, there'll be a link up there. Uh, that I'll do my potatoes in there with a little bit of beef dripping. Now I usually use either goose fat when I'm shallow frying or just the normal meat juices that come off it, whatever meat I'm making. But this year I decided, let me try some beef dripping and this is the beef dripping that I used, which I didn't realize it was actually Wagyu. There we go. This is just from Aldi. Um, it's actually really, really nice. So I can highly recommend it. Um, not sponsored to say that, um, but yeah. So we're gonna try and make some beef um, so we're going to make some potato wedges with that and pretty much see how that turns out. So sit back, relax, we're going to enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you in, the, in a bit. Peace. So, alright guys, as I said in the intro, today I'm going to be making uh, wedges with my beef dripping. Now, when I did it at Christmas, it was that good. We ate all the potatoes, and then the next day when we had some leftovers, my wife went ahead and made some more, uh, basically in exactly the same way I did. So I thought, you know what? Let me make some beef. Uh, let me make some potato wedges and see how it turns out by using this stuff. So I can't even remember how much this stuff was, but it was actually really, really good. Um, if you're new here. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification because it really will help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And as it's New Year, we want to push this channel more and I want to get some more stuff done. And I can't do that without your help. So please go ahead and do that because it really, really helps. And also, watch the video all the way through. Don't just watch for a few minutes because that really doesn't help. If you watch all the way through, it helps. Watch the ads and all that kind of stuff. So help me out, people. Uh, anyway, enough of that. I know that's a bit much, but I need it. I need help. I need your help. So go ahead. So, I've got some potatoes that I've just washed and wedged. Just some red potatoes. I love red potatoes. That's my favourite ones. I'm sure it'll work with white potatoes if that's what you prefer. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A little pepper. A few crushed chilies, And then I've just warmed this up in the microwave for about a minute. Just so it's uh, a bit malleable to pour over and then just make sure everything's nicely coated I think that's safe to say everything's coated <clears throat> so we're going to move on to put in the air fryer So my wife managed to find somewhere on the internet these little um, 
grease proof sheets that you can put inside so it reduces the washing up or just the mess it makes so uh, we always use these now um, if I can find out where she gets them from I will leave a link in the description box below again not sponsored but just if you've got one of these that might help you out so turn it on uh, I want air fry I want to do 15 minutes and then just pop them in there we go and then I've got some beef burgers that I'm going to put in this side uh, which I'm going to sink cook so Two burger in there. I press air fry. That's on 20 minutes. I'm going to leave that on that. Then press number two. I want to air fry that and then leave that for 15 minutes and press sink. Now they should both cook at the same time uh, and it should hold this side up until it gets down to 15 minutes for this side and then they both cook at the same time so you can have two different times two different temperatures to finish at the same time so i put them both in and then it should press hold it should hold on here and when i press start there we go so now this is this side isn't doing anything until this gets to 15 minutes and then this side will kick in and start cooking so i'll bring you back uh when this starts to cook and show you that it does actually uh, work together so i'll see you in a bit so as you can see they now are cooking at exactly the same time uh, so that means they'll be cooked at the same time hopefully uh, if the wedges need a little bit longer I can give them a little bit longer if the uh, burgers need a little bit longer I can give, give them a little bit longer but I think they'll probably be cooked at the same time give or take so uh, yeah I'll bring you back once they're cooked uh, it may be the case that I might need to turn them and the burgers as well I don't know I've never done this before but this is just an experiment that we're doing together. So we'll see how it turns out and I will see you in about 15 minutes and 25 seconds. So the air fryer has just gone off and don't they look amazing? Now they do need a little bit longer. Some of them are not quite as soft as I'd like. So I'm going to give that another 10 minutes. But the burgers on the other hand, they're done. I'm going to give these, well I'm not going to cook them anymore. What I'm going to do is, when these are about three minutes out, I'm going to put some cheese on the burgers to melt the cheese. And then that's pretty much it. So, turn it back on. I'm going to air fry. And I wish you could smell just how good this smells. That beef dripping right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it smells amazing. <clears throat> I can't wait to get involved with these. So, ten minutes. And that's it. I'm going to get some cheese out, just some mature cheese. I'm going to put that, well, I'll sprinkle some on, on these burgers and get my heat pad out to make sure that it doesn't burn. Right, so I've got clean hands. Let me just actually turn these over. That would be an idea so I don't just burn the one side. about beef burgers the amount of fat and stuff that comes off them but I do love them so and this is why these little paper inserts are really good because after this I don't have to worry about cleaning up any mess I can just throw it away give it a little wipe out and Bob's your uncle all right I think that's about enough And then I'm just going to put them back in the uh, in the air fryer and give it, like I say, three minutes, li literally just to melt the cheese. And then I want to go to that. I'm going to go to 
that. We'll get three minutes. Now let's see if it will work if I press. Did it sync? Did I press sync before? Sync? No. It has to be while it stops. So let's see if it stops. carry on. That would have been awesome if you could do it, you know, while it's still running, but hey, it is what it is. I'll see you in a bit. So as you can see, it's just about to finish. The burgers are pretty much done, and so will the uh, wedges. I did give them an extra kind of three minutes after I last brought you back. I just wanted to make sure they were that extra bit crispy. So the next thing I'm going to do is take out the burgers and I'm going to put them on a bit of kitchen towel to dry off the excess grease because nobody wants that. Right, so. So I'm going to take them out. I don't know if that comes through on camera, but there's a lot of grease on the bottom there, which I don't want, so that's why I'm putting them on the bottom. So I kind of move out of the way. Got my burger buns here. I'm just going to put a bit of brown sauce on them because I love a bit of brown sauce, me. There we go. That's a heel. That's a heel. And that's a heel. <laughs> Who knew? So I'm going to go burger and burger. I'm going to put this back, but I will clean it in a bit. Now back in the day, they used to use beef dripping for chips and they smell absolutely amazing. I really wish you could smell how good they, they smell right now. So I'm just going to have a few for myself, leave some for the wife. Yeah, I think that's enough for me. Then I'm also going to add just a little bit of coleslaw for some coleslaw -y goodness. It's a cheesy little bad boy. After all the rich food that I've been having over Christmas and New Year, I think this is just what I need. There we go. Don't let the ride or die. So that was absolutely amazing, Mwah, chef's kiss. That I'll definitely be doing that again. Um, if you have an air fryer, you definitely have to try that out. Uh, beef dripping with your wedges. It was absolutely, oh, I mean, put it this way. If I, w I didn't have to leave some for the wife, I would definitely would have had the rest of those. And the burgers, the burgers were okay. Uh, not the best, but they weren't really the main focus of the, of the dish. But those uh, wedges were absolutely to die for. Anyway, thank you for making it this far in the video. Uh, again, please like, share and subscribe because uh, it really helps with, that, with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, take care, stay safe and I'll see you in a bit. Peace and also Happy New Year again. Peace.